Hi, welcome to Robin's Roost. Today we're going to be making a fun Easter card with an M fold, um, fun fold. And first of all, I'd like to show you the card that um, I saw this card on Susan Campfield's um, video. And this is the card that caught my attention that she made. Um, and I copied it and made one. So this uses the um, the new Simply Xenia bundle that's that's going to be or just came out right on March 5th and I think it might be out of stock but is due in fairly quickly so you'll have to watch if if you want it and it's not there yet um, but anyways that's the card that um, inspired the one that we're going to be making and this one is an Easter card using the Happy Easter no the Easter Bunny never remember the names the Easter Bunny stamp set and punch and then for the designer series paper I've got it is the um, lighter than air which is a fun springy colored one and I've used the um, adorning hearts embossing folder I'm not sure if it shows up great here on on the video but so there's pretty hearts on the side here so let's flip the camera and I'll show you how to make it so we're going to start with a a standard card base but we're going to um, tweak it a little bit so we only need eight inches this is the long way instead of the eight and a half so we're going to cut a little bit off the end and then let me just double check make sure yes I have five and a half by eight and now we have to do some scoring so we're going to score it at one and five eighths one and seven eighths three and three fourths four and a quarter six and one eighth six and three eighths and this one gets a little bit tricky on my pullout, so I am going to pull in my, let's see, so it should be right past the line there. And then we should be done with our scoring. Now I've already cut the DSP that we're going to be using. Pull in my pieces here. So I've got a little narrow strip. That one is three eighths inch by five and a quarter, and these are all five and a quarter um, tall. And then I have two pieces that are one and a half, and then two pieces that are one and five eighths. These are just a hair bigger. And then for the outside of the card, I used the um, Adoring Hearts embossing folder, and these strips are one and a half by five and a quarter, and they work perfectly for one of the strips of the hearts. And I thought this was kind of cute for an Easter card. Have a little hearts on there. So let me just think, can we adhere these down? Let's let's do a little um uh, burnishing on these score lines first. So this part is going to pop up in the center. So we'll just score both of these back. And then this next one is going to go forward. And then the next one goes back. Those little score lines are kind of hard. They're so close together. Doesn't want to quite fold there. Maybe I should have given it a little better score.
finally it decided to go. Okay. So this one goes this way. Hopefully I did in the right direction. Okay. So our card is going to sit closed like this. And then it'll open like this. So it's it's an M fold card. So let's go ahead and start putting our layers on. And these um, are pretty either on the debossed side or the embossed side. It's hard to choose because the designs are beautiful either direction. Golly, I think I'm gonna go this way. Now I have to remember which one I did so that they're both the same direction. Put the adhesive on this side. Okay, and then we've got our yellow strips in here. And this, this paper is actually the lighter than air paper, which goes with the, um, the balloons. Out of the, um, the mini catalog. I'm going for bright spring colors, so this is a perfect, um, perfect paper for springtime. And then look at our next one. This is from that same pack. You can see another design on the back. So it has just a really nice mix of bright, kind of bright and soft colors in it, but very springish. Then we have our little strip. I'm not sure, you know what, I'm gonna grab liquid glue for this because I think my, my glue um, tape runner would be a little bit too wide. So there is our card base, all set and ready. Now we're going to put this on here, and I was thinking about maybe sideways. Now I think I'll keep it square. So let's just take some, well actually let's get our rabbit first. We're going to put a rabbit on here. Here's our piece of basic white paper. and. I think I actually put my bunny away. So I am using the Easter Bunny stamp set, and this is in the annual catalog. And we're going to just make a white bunny. Just ink him up with some black ink. And then there is the matching uh, bunny punch. And we're just going to punch him out. Now, if you wanted, you could put a little pink in his ears and his nose. Maybe we should do that. Let me find a nice light pink. What have we got? Oh, that's the dark. Hang on. Here's some light petal pink, and let's just give him a little bit, say in his ear, and his nose. Where would a bunny's cheeks be? Let's see, maybe a little bit right there. 
just a little hint of color. And then we're going to pop him up on dimensionals. And this piece is um, azure blue, and it has been die cut with the um, Silas Shapes dies. And we'll just pull our dimensionals in here. Put a couple of them on here, pop him up. Oh, you know, before we put him on there, let's get our Happy Easter on here. And we're just going to stamp that at the bottom. Grab our black ink in here again. And just get this right on the bottom. And then we'll put our bunny on top of the Happy Easter. Make sure his ears kind of stay on. And now we're going to put him right in here with some dimensionals as well. So I'm just going to lay him here so that I can kind of see where I want my dimensionals. And you want them to be um, sides straight. And I think three of them should do it. Center him. Actually, these hearts make it pretty easy to center him. There. So there is our Happy Easter card. And then if you wanted to add any more greetings, you could add them on the back. Um, let's see, what else is in here? Enjoy the little moments. You're a friend like no other. Hi an Easter treat for you. We could put some Easter eggs. You know, you could get creative on the back if you wanted. I'm just going to leave this one plain because it's kind of just a happy little Easter card. And then you see when it stands up, somebody can set it on their counter or whatever and cheer up their day. So hope you enjoyed this card. And uh, if you need the supplies, just go ahead and copy and paste the link at the bottom here of the video and it'll take you to my store. Thanks for stopping by at the Roost, and I hope you have a great day.